Libra, hello, Amanda here. Welcome to the Unseen Hands Collective. This is going to be your March shift reading. We're looking at the shape you're shifting out of this month, the shape you're shifting into, and what that shape shift looks and feels like, at least from the tarot portion of your shift. So, um, my friends, the image that's coming to me for you this month is you taking a bunch of glitter or maybe like a bunch of flower petals or something like that and just throwing them up in the air like throwing the glitter and it just like whew, goes everywhere and falls to the ground. Um, I'm interested to see how that's going to tie into your cards. Your shape shift this month is not um, from one card to the next. It is not linear like that this month. It is actually very centrally focused and I'm gonna do my best to show you what I see. The center card out of your five card spread here is the singer of connection. And I'm, I'm, this reading is really beautiful Libra because this energy of connection has been coming through for you for months on my channel. There's been this, um, energy of a lot of aces, you know, like a lot of new beginning energy, especially around intimacy and connections and, um, relationships and, and the energy of relationship coming into your life. And this doesn't have to be about romantic partnership, although I am feeling a very romantic energy in these cards. Take it how it resonates for you. But connection is front and center. The cards that are surrounding connection, as you can see, are all turned in towards the idea of connection. And I think the, this is you, this is your energy, Libra, everything in you turned towards connection, either a specific connection in your life or the energy of connection, being what it means to be in relationship. It's like everything in you is turned towards that. And now where the juice of this reading comes in is in what your, how your energy is being depicted in these cards. There is a lot of intensity here. All of them are, the, the fact, first of all, that they are all turned in towards this singular focus, and especially with this like Romeo energy of Ta'om the poet. And, you know, we're looking at these two beings in relationship with one another and it, and this fairy, her wings are tattered. This being looks exhausted. Like there is an energy of um, spending, expending a lot of energy and a lot of focus on connection, on the energy of romance and connection, maybe on some connections that you are involved in in your life. But there's a lot of heavy, intense focus there, maybe even like obsessive focus there to an exhausting point. There's a lot of exhaustion here. On the other side, we've got um, this energy that's been coming, I think it came through in a lot of the earth signs of like holding yourself back or feeling held back, feeling held in place or feeling maybe like kept from connection in a way um, that has you perhaps feeling a bit victimized or feeling like, this is being put upon you or done unto you. And then, and then it's interesting, this, um, this Bodak, Bodacious Bodak card is on the other side here, sort of carrying two energies, carrying an energy of being both like primed and ready, you know, because it does sort of feel like, um, I gotta say, Libra, you're, th this reading is a lot. It carries a lot of energy with it because I think you are carrying a lot. You're holding a lot of energy here and your energy feels really intense and, and, um, and like you're going through a lot around connection and intimacy in your life right now. But the energies outside of you, it's like connection and intimacy seems to be poised at the ready. It seems to be here. It seems to be saying that you are ready for this. And yet there's this sort of edginess that's also here that's present in you, like a, an intense, maybe um, brooding or exhaustion or, or just like feeling on edge that's got you 
questioning if you are ready. So again, I'm feeling like you are ready, Libra. I'm feeling like you are ready to deepen your relationships, to reach a level of intimacy that you have not, to go where you haven't gone before in terms of intimacy and connection. But you, I don't know that you feel that way. I think um, whatever you are seeing, whatever lens you are focusing on in relationship has got you in an energy of feeling held back, um, feeling like you can't progress forward or feeling like you're always in a position of heartbreak or always in a position of pain, longing, brooding, you know, like Romeo longing for something they can't have. It's a complicated energy that, um, you know, my cohorts, Kevin and Kelsey, in the, in the Unseen Hands Collective, when we talked through this energy, a lot poured through, a lot. And so I'm excited to get into the extended version of this reading and really start to pull in some of the things that came out of our conversation because it was rich. All right, I encourage you to explore this deeper with me if you'd like. Um, the link is in the description. I'll, I'll talk about it at the end, but... Um, What's sticking out to me, and I'll say this in this part of the reading for you, what's sticking out to me the most is your perhaps a mixture of your romanticized ideal, your like fantasy projection, or dare I say illusion even, of what connection and intimacy is, of what relationship is, is creating a very um, heady lens and, and very likely has you all up in your head about relationships because you're projecting this um, intellectualized idea of relationship. that is also connected to painful past experiences of relationship. So there's, there's this complicated duality happening here, Libra, where you are both seeing things from a lens of past relational pain that is very real, okay? You have been through painful relationships in the past, absolutely. And at the same time, you're projecting a romantic ideal this idea of connection, this idea of relationship that is much easier to stay in an idea of something than it is to actually physically embody it. You know, there's something about this, this card here, this Bodak energy that is actually very physically embodied. I think Libra, you're being asked to come into physical, present, authentic experience of connection, relationship with relationship, rather than an imagined or intellectualized idea of connection and relationship. It's like there's a question here in these cards of, okay, if connection is here, then Libra, What's stopping you? I think what's stopping you is both a mix of the, the, this painful lens that you have of relationship from your past experiences that have been painful and also a, a, an, an imagined idea of relationship that, um, you know, when you have an idea of something and you kind of keep it, keep the idea of relationship in your head then it asks much less of you to stay in, in the projected ideal of something than it does to actually embody, live in, and humanly, physically experience something because the human physical experience of something is actually much messier than our idea of it in our head. It is much more chaotic it is, and it requires much more truth from us, much more um, vulnerability and much more of a willingness to show up and to show ourselves to another person. I think
think this is this reading is calling you if connection is true authentic intimate connection is something you are calling into your experience into your physical lived experience not just your imagined experience then you're going to have to look at what holds you back from authenticity and from being your full self and showing up as a fully embodied person in connection. I'll, I'll leave it there. I'm going to get into an extended reading now where I pull other cards and really start to, to dig into this very rich reading that's here for you. So if you'd like to join me for that, click the link in the description below. It's going to take you to unseenhandscollective.com where you can access the extended reading in the shop and also through our monthly memberships. Now y'all should know by now, this is only the tarot portion of your March shift. You have an astrology scope that Kevin has created for you to loop in the planetary energy and influences that you will be experiencing in March. And also Kelsey's guidebook that she has created to help you more personally and also creatively work through the March insight. So go to our website, unseenhandscollective.com to get the full shift experience in March. Thanks for being here, Libra. Take care. you constantly trying to hold everything and juggle everything and maybe even like unconsciously manipulate everything so that everything feels balanced and so that you feel good and that the people around you feel good is actually um that comes from a place of pain that comes from a place of wanting to prevent pain but um strangely enough ends up keeping you in pain doing the dance doing the juggling always thinking you have to do the balancing and again this is encouraging you to realize that if you you center in yourself in your body in your pleasure in your worth in your truth the balance will naturally fall into place with so much more ease there's so much more ease in this card than you know, the two of pentacles is sometimes shown as someone like running and juggling at the same time. It's like patting your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time and trying to act like everything's fine. You know, like I'm fine doing this. I'm fine doing this. No, you are definitely not fine doing that. And it it's, you're gonna stay feeling held back the more you, you keep trying to curate others' experiences. <laughs> by curating yourself. This month is healing the mirror. You become the mirror, your substance, who you are, which is based in how you feel, your feelings and not denying them and not, you know, putting them aside and compromising them for someone else's thing because that's a Libran thing and that was the thing that we have been talking about since I started this podcast is you speaking up for what it is that you actually want in your life. You want something real. You want something tangible. You want to see yourself reflected back to you. 